I saw my sources. It's a big name. It's an actual genuine big name when it comes to Halo and Bungie. Are they the kind of person who's like out to get 343? They, they are not. They are not an anti 343er. They're very much tied to Bungie and they're very close to Joe. He already said that he's leaving Microsoft. That's literally a tweet that he said. Now, that could be maybe more public PR speak about the whole thing, right? Saying like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, just saving face with Microsoft because he wants to leave on good terms with them and stuff like that. Because you never know, he can get hired again by Microsoft in the future. You never, you never, you don't, you never know about that stuff. But even if he does come out saying like, yeah, Microsoft is trash, 343 fired me and uh, like all this kind of stuff, like what people want him to say. It's never going to happen because it's not a good look on his end because he's in the industry. Even though the game industry might seem pretty big, it's actually like, it's a tight knit group of people. Like everyone kind of knows each other in the gaming industry. I kind of I saw this firsthand when I was the uh, GameSoft social media manager, like going to events and stuff like that. Like everyone reads those tweets. Everyone knows the big videos. Like I guarantee you, like devs have seen like Ackman videos. I guarantee you, like you know, word gets around. You know, it's not like everything falls in deaf ears. Like you saw the, actually just uh, this week, uh, Sketch kind of alluded to it. He didn't say it directly, but like, we all know what he was kind of alluding to, right? Yeah, he, uh, he shared this on his Twitter page saying, it feels it's been a particularly, particularly exhausting week. I hope everyone can unwind and go do what makes that makes you happy. And please be kind to each other. Have a great weekend, Halo, Halo fam clearly referencing the news about like joseph staten being fired that's going around community back and forth and people like you know accusing mint Blitz of being like you know a click baiter and like bad for the community and stuff like that and he's not like i know remy right we've chatted a couple times i think i've had him, i've had him on the channel a few times he the guy loves halo and he only wants the best so when he hears information like this he wants to bring it up i think people are going to taking Remy's video the wrong way. Cause he's like, I'm hearing this. Let me share it with you guys and see what you think. Rather than being like, this is factual news. Even though like he is kind of talking like it is in a way, uh, because what there's this recent tweet here between Uber Nick and, and uh, Mint Blitz here, a little bit of an exchange here I thought was more insightful to what is actually kind of going on with the whole thing. Saying uh, Nick initially just tweeted out saying, I'd like to make a point about the backlash Mint Blitz got yesterday over his video. Remy is an absolute diamond in the community. He wants nothing but the best for Halo and that's an absolute fact. Sometimes videos can come off as negative, but that is not the end goal. Absolutely true, Nick nailed it. The nail on the head on that one, perfect. And also, Mint replied to it saying, "Illy Nick, saying like, thanks. <laughs> uh, for those wondering too, I DM'd Sereja proof to show I had legit reason to make the video, so he'll verify my information. Uh, it's why he took his tweet down, because if you guys saw earlier, I mentioned it in my video, uh, was it like um, earlier? Soraya tweeted out saying like, oh, are we believing Haley now? Are you guys are that dumb? If you guys know Haley on Twitter, sh they, I'll say they, because I don't even know if they're a real person actually, certainly have their biases and uh, definitely has it out for 343 and tends to kind of twist information to make 343 look bad rather than actually just present the information as it is. There's that whole thing, uh, but interesting that Soraya deleted his tweet. And so I got in touch with um, a friend of mine who had a chance to actually look at the information directly. And he told me, he's like, no, it's legit. Like Joseph Stain got let go by Microsoft. And then I was kind of thinking like, apparently he got caught up in that lineup of, uh, of layoffs right back in the early 2000 and early 23, right? So we all remember this tweet, right? From Jason Schreier, this guy, like even though his, his information is kind of insider stuff, it's always super credible. Like basically whatever Jason Schreier says, is true. He never sweeps out anything that's like legs with it, right? And this was back in January 31 of 23, right? That's where all the layoffs happened. 95 people at 343 got laid off. It was mainly the campaign team that got hit really hard. And guess who was in charge of the campaign? Joseph Staten, right? He even said this in uh, the recent podcast interview with IGN uh, with um, Ryan McCaffrey back in November 21. Joseph saying like mainly his role was keeping the campaign on rails, making sure everything was going as planned, right? But then once that news dropped, right, like back in January of 23, 
that the campaign team got hit pretty hard, right? A lot of people got let go. That's when we heard Joseph Stein move to back to his publishing role with Microsoft. I don't know necessarily if the terminology fired is accurate. I think is that he got caught up in the layoffs at 343 and Microsoft, rather than letting go of a talent like Joseph Staten, he decided to, they decided to move him over to publishing, which was where he was previously, right? As like a creative director kind of role. And then couple months later he moved over to netflix right because because we had this suite right here right back just you know four months later in april uh saying that he's uh moving over to netflix gaming right netflix halo confirmed <laughs> dude imagine a netflix halo <laughs> you finally get the movie we all wanted right <laughs> The news first broke of joseph staying leaving microsoft by ign back in april of 23 april 7th of 23 right so IGN had to kind of break this news, right? And then Joseph Stane came out saying, hey folks, I am indeed leaving Microsoft. I'll have more information to share soon. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank my all my Xbox colleagues for all their understanding and support as I embark on a new adventure, right? Like he stated like he's still with Microsoft. So like, yeah, Joseph Stane did get let go at 343. That's factually what happened right there, right? He got a new job over and Netflix. And so I think people are using the terminology fired wrong. I think they're using as he got caught up in the layoffs, Microsoft then moved him back to his publishing position that he was at previously because he kind of just hops back and forth between a lot of games when he was at Microsoft and Halo was just having to be one of those games. Because like, why would he state that like, I'm indeed leaving Microsoft four months after being technically fired. Because if you get fired at 343, you're not just fired at 343, you're fired at Microsoft. 343 is just an extension of Microsoft. Like, we, it's not like how it was with Bungie and Microsoft. Like, Bungie was its own standalone studio, right, that made Halo. And Microsoft paid Bungie to make Halo. It's a different dynamic. I, I think some people somehow still can't make that connection somehow, but like there is no disconnect there with 343 and Microsoft. They're one in the same. It's just that you need to have a dedicated team that makes Halo because Microsoft wants to make Halo games still. And they, they made a studio called 343 Industries and put people in place to make those games. There's no you know difference between like, like it was with Bungie and Microsoft. It's all one in the same. So if you get fired by 343, you're fired by Microsoft. And so that wouldn't make any sense if he was actually like fired to stay with Microsoft. It just, to me, it doesn't get the, 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 that just doesn't compute to me. Unless there's some weird, unless it's like, again, like, oh, again, this is maybe like some hidden agenda behind the scenes kind of stuff going on. Where like, you know, we always see like a CEO saying like, I stepped down from my position. It's like, no, you got fired. And then because you did some ridiculous stuff and then you got, you know, you decided to step down to make us look like it was your decision to leave when clearly it wasn't. Unless it's something like that, which I highly doubt it is. I think it's more just like strictly business, right? Microsoft was divesting from Halo, right? With all those layoffs happening. It wouldn't make any sense to keep a talent like Joseph Staten on a project that you're divesting from when previously you had him kind of jumping around between games. Like my previous video, I think still very valid. I think a little bit of context is different now because like, yeah, he was let go at 343 and moved back to Microsoft. And then he got a new job over at Netflix. I think that's kind of the whole deal of what's going on with that, right? I think a lot of people are mi mixing, like being moved away from 343 and being fired and they're like combining that together. I think people are just kind of saying fired to try to make it much more of a salacious title, right? To get eyeballs on the whole thing rather than Joseph Staten was moved back to his Microsoft position. That's not nearly as entertaining, right? As saying he was fired by 343. And ultimately, like, again, I kind of want to touch back on like what I was talking about earlier. Like what's like, what's the end goal with this entire story, right? I don't really see what, what why we so fixated on this. Because if you think of it like this, right? Okay, worst case scenario, all of it's true. It's not gonna change anything because like this all happened a year ago. It's not like th Microsoft is gonna change their methods of how they do business because of how we dislike Joseph Steam being let go at Microsoft, right? Microsoft is like, okay, cry about it, babies. We're still gonna do our thing because we they made the move that they thought was best for them. Then that's not gonna change anything. I think people are kind of like misunderstanding like what really happened, what's going on and stuff like that, rather than the yeah, terminology fired is just wrong. 
Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So I think, like, the end game of this whole thing, it's like, it's a big nothing burger. It really is. What, you're, are you going to be mad at 343 still? Like, yeah. People are going to be mad at 343 or still going to be mad at 343, right? Even if just saying, like, left on his own accord, right? And it was like, you know, it, it's my time to ride off into the sunset doing Halo things. And plus, Joseph Stane saw the writing on the wall, too, that Microsoft is divesting from Halo Infinite. It's not going to be the vision that they had planned before the launch of the game. Why would Joseph Stane kind of like nerf himself and his potential and his career and stick with Halo? I mean, let's be real, guys. Like, if it flopped, okay? If it was a, it was going gangbusters, like... People would have stayed on and loved the work on Halo, but then once Halo Infinite released, what happened? Everybody in every management position ended up leaving 343 within like a year. They released Infinite and all the management's like, peace, I'm out. <laughs> and up to up to Bonnie Ross, like people that were like, you know, working with like Kiki Wolfkill, she got moved over to Microsoft Publishing. She's not with really, she's like vaguely connected with 343, but like not nearly as like entrenched as she was previously. Bonnie Ross is gone. Basically every manager that was in charge of some major function within Halo Infinite is gone. <laughs> so people keep saying like hashtag fire 343. Yeah, basically got it. Like it's a whole new team there. Now you have Pierre Hinse over there, which is like, we'll see what he does. He's been extra quiet like way too quiet for my liking like i understand like the head of a studio like not really you know being super entrenched with like the communities of that because they uh, they're managing everything with halo right they're not just the video game even though the game is the main thing but, like the creative directors are really like the head of the game like you had with like joseph stain and before that uh chris lee right chris lee was like the halo infinite guy if you're gonna get mad about how bad infinite was Get mad at Chris Lee, not Bonnie Ross, really, because Bonnie Ross is like, yeah, the game was like a, the main portion, but like it's one of the facets she has to control about Halo. It's a big, there's a lot of things with Halo. Yeah, it's like, I don't really understand the end game of this whole thing. And like, I understand Joseph Stane wanting to leave. He, I, if I was Joseph Stane, I would want to leave Halo. Like, I love Halo as well. And I totally understand why, if he was on his own accord, why he would want to leave. I think what happened is that he got caught up in the layoffs, they moved him back to publishing. And then he's like, man, I just kind of want, maybe he wanted to keep working on Halo, but just the opportunities weren't really there. He didn't see anything that was really catching his interest at Microsoft. So he went with Netflix. That's my understanding of the everything, right? And of course, that's we're never going to know the full story because we need to hear from Joseph Staden himself or like Bonnie Ross or somebody like that, big up like that, or Phil Spencer himself, right? To kind of say it. Yeah, like Infinite was just a, a complete mess. And it was like, I understand like anybody wanted to move away from that game. Like, Get it out and then just kind of get on, go on with your day. But basically, I wanted to let chat know, like, or anyone was watching, like, I brought Gamer J Lee in the chat because he's the guy who actually saw the information, like, direct. You said you saw it directly, right? Yes, I saw the information directly. I can't say anything, but here's what I'll say. Because you want to keep is, your sources, like, you know, confidential. Here's the thing. I, I, I could burn bridges. I, I could totally burn bridges. But, you know, this community already has a big of a, a big enough hate hatred of me. I'd rather not piss anyone off first thing in the morning. <laughs> so l let me just say that I saw my sources. It's a big name. It's an actual genuine big name when it comes to Halo and uh, Bungie. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to say is this isn't a direct source. It's a secondhand source. And it's just hearsay. It's just, hey, Joe told me this and that's it because guess what at the end of the day unless we get some sort of contract or termination papers or a direct statement from joe saying himself guess what it's all going to be hearsay it's all yeah. going to be stuff coming from other sources and unless someone is willing to put out the proof which if, if someone pisses me off enough i'll, I'll just i'll fucking do it but <laughs> uh the the thing for me is is that it's all just going to be coming from one source and unless someone's willing to put out the proof it's going to be a big nothing burger hearsay like word from another person can definitely be legitimate but it's like depending on who the source is and where like how, what their connections are hearsay can actually be legitimate though so yeah i want to say i want to i want to i want to like uh you know put it off to the side they just or discard the information like that but you're saying like the source that you saw it from is legitimate like they wouldn't they're not they don't have any vested interest to lie to get likes and views and stuff like that even yeah. if they were like trying to spread your know, they are they're like are they the kind of person who's like out to get three they are not they are not they are not an anti-343 or they are not a social media 
they're very much tied to Bungie and they're very close to Joe. That's all I'm going to say. Right. And, but like, like kind of like what we were talking about, and we talked about this when you first told me about this information. It's like, even if like the, so like worst case scenario, right? Everything is awful. What's the end goal? Like what's going to change from us knowing about this information? Nothing. Nothing. Because, because right now the ship is sinking even if they they prove that Joe Stone got fired, it's just going to cause the sh- the ship to sink faster. It's not going to bring Joe back. He, he's he's like, ha! I got my money. Fuck y'all, bitches later. <laughs> well, you I know? mean, I, I like like yeah, you know, like I mean, though, we all know like Joe loves Halo, right? Because he yeah. helped create the whole dang thing. But like with Infinite, right? The writing was on the wall by that time. By you know, with with through Microsoft divesting from Infinite, right? Cutting out the campaign team, and yeah. then we, soon after that, right? We had like our season four and five and then we went back to went to operations but of course like with things like with halo like uh it's a it's a large ship right and it takes a long yeah. time to turn and so like yeah. even though we did get like season like four and five which were fantastic seasons for infinite like that was already put in plan by the time joe left like all this stuff is like six months in advance this stuff gets planned out like what content's going to be there basically everything is kind of like like it, for me it wasn't even that he, he that mint got the video out there and I watched the video on stream and I, I called him out on a lot of things with those videos, uh, the two videos he came out with, because there's no sources. The only source he ever showed in that video was late night gaming, which like he might have some insider kind of connections, but I don't I know think, his yeah. stuff would, I know he's not like a legit, like an only source to show, which is, I think Remy, like his, so his, Remy's information was accurate. I think just the way he presented it right could exactly. have been a little bit try to he, i think the way he conveyed the information didn't come off as legitimate as the information actually is right exactly it's that he can't show his sources because he doesn't want to burn bridges or upset people and i understand that i respect that about remy the the thing that upsets me the most about this whole situation and i said this in my stream is that how people treated remy they, they, they went from, oh, he's, you know, a pillar of our community. He's a diamond of our community. And, and I have to 100% say Uber Nick was right. Uh, he, he's very much a diamond of our community. Absolutely. And I love Remy. Turning him, yeah. And them turning him into, oh, he's a Halo hate channel. So anyone who's <laughs> Yeah, right, negative, dude. Right. Anyone who's made a negative video about Halo is a Halo hate channel. Hidden Xperia has made a negative video about Halo. Oh, I've made negative videos. Like yeah, ev- everyone has. Yeah. Everyone's been brutally honest at one point or other in their life. But because people read the titles of his videos and they're clickbait, they're good clickbait. They're not misleading clickbait, but they never click on it. Guess what? They think he he's nothing but a negative channel. If Remy was really that hated on, right? If people really hated Remy's video, I mean, I'm looking at the like to dislike ratio on it right now. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. He has thir- three, three, three point, three 3.3k likes to 717, 711 dislikes. So it's like what? Like a, I don't know, I do the math. I don't know, 85% like ratio, 90% like ratio. So like if it really was that bad, right? People would have disliked the video. So I think it's more just like a lot of people. I think, I think a lot of times when the Halo community, we tend to platform a lot of people who are just louder than they need to be <laughs> and yeah. i think the negativity really comes through quite a bit compared to like what the actual narrative is actually about what's going on for the majority of people like the video again we should cite that yes that like that dislike thing that they show on youtube isn't 100 accurate i'll let you guys know about that but from my experience right because i have it on my browser right every, every and i and, and i can see my browser. actual ratios of likes and dislikes on my end as a creator i will say it gets it's pretty accurate <laughs> it catches up it, and it's been it lines at 7 up. And 11 for a couple days yeah. now like the ratio so lines up dropped off yeah yeah, the ratio lines up. It might not be, it's not the exact number, it's not exactly 711 dislikes, probably some more, probably some less or whatever, or probably some more mix in there, but like the ratio of likes to dislikes is accurate. So now don't get caught up on the exact number, but get get caught up on the ratios, whatever the word is. So I think that's the the main thing we also need to kind of, you know, provide more context to this entire discussion. But like, again, like if Remy was like a hate channel, right? A lot of the videos being like, oh, this is terrible. This is awful. Like, I think he just kind of had a bit of a hot streak, right? With like saying 343 Industries disrespecting Bungie, Halo developers. And then like soon after that saying Joseph Stain got fired. Well, in, and, and, then, and then, but then the, then the two days after the Joseph Stain video, right? He released a video saying, finally, positive Halo news, <laughs> you know? So like, he covers it all. Like Remy is a very legitimate 
guy. I, like he wants the best for Halo. He's not out here to get three four three or anything. Like that right. heck, he's part of grassroots. Like he's. I mean, he, like he's in watch, with him. Watch his video whenever they they did the Halo, new Halo announce. He is like, and I said this in my stream. He's glazing up the idea of a, a Halo C remake. Like he is over yeah. the fucking moon. So Anybody would be, it, yeah. Right. If like you guys think he's a hate channel, actually watch the content. Actually yeah. watch it. No, no one actually just watches videos. They see the thumbnail, they see the title, and they go, "Oh, this is awful." 